YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. Maybe that like button over here. And then maybe scribble in a little message, good or bad, we don't care, it helps the channel. I don't know where we're at for subscribers, but I'm still working for 200. So just hit that button. Even if you don't watch ever again, just hit that subscribe button. Or maybe that like button. Or leave a rude comment. I don't care. So, I went out yesterday. It was pretty nice out yesterday. Um, um, I stopped and made a uh, short video about Harley going woke. And uh, here's my opinion, and you'll never hear me say more about it. I don't care. Ride your bikes, be proud. Don't let them take everything you enjoy in life away from you. And that's all they're trying to do. Suck the fun out of life. And you can't let them do that. So, with that being said, we've got the uh, night screw out today. Giving the Riker a break. And, uh... Got shit flipping or flopping around up there. So I was cruising through the internet on uh, eBay and I found a used quarter pairing. So I'm gonna try one of them out. I think it's gonna be about the same height, but maybe just a little better looking. And uh, so uh, now I'm, uh, I'm gonna spend cruising the internet for a set of used bags for it and I guess I'll have to make my own bracket. I was gonna buy a set of throwovers but I gotta move the tail lights to even do that so not a lot of room back there and like I say the Harley bags are too overpriced. I did find a set I don't remember the brand of them but they had the shock cut out and they were like 380 but that's still too much. And probably next spring, I'm going to take this thing out for a ride and go, I want to find America again. Or, I want a BMW, or, I don't know. I guess we'll see how my health is doing. Maybe even a Goldwing. But, I'm pretty, pretty true to my Harleys. And I... But they're, uh, yeah, they they priced them out of my price range, and which is why I'm riding a, a Sportster, which, you know, it's close, but, uh, you know, like the Rebel 1100 is close in price to that. Um, I don't know. And yesterday I put the short bar, the stock bars back on it just to see if I liked them better or, you know, sometimes the guy forgets. And, uh, yeah, by the time I got home, my shoulders are so bad that I have to put these back. Hopefully nothing. I can't remember if I got everything tightened up or not. But, um, but my thinking was is, and still is, I would like to, I'm waiting on, uh, I'm waiting on somebody to come up with a good flip version where the Speedo goes on top, that I can put like regular eight figures on it, is what I'd like to do. But, I don't know. I just want to be comfortable. And with these bars, I'm comfortable. I just don't like the longer bars on the, the taller. Uh, the truck taller mount risers maybe you guys don't care but I mean sitting here looking at it from here and if you got I suppose you know a dark colored 
you really can't see it from the front, but from the side, I just, I don't like tall bars on tall risers. I just don't. So anyway, Mickey, Mickey got me a new GoPro mount from Handlebars. I'm digging that. I can turn it and uh, twist it around. Thank you, Mickey, for getting me that. So, outside of trying to do a camping trip and packing my tent and everything and actually sleeping in my kid's camper, I have not been on a camping trip yet this year and looking at the weather looks to me like it's going to be cooling down so I I don't know maybe we won't get one in this year I know last year I took Pan America the week before Thanksgiving down to uh, Finger Lake by Columbia Missouri and camped out it was beautiful it was a beautiful day um, I think that is that the trip that got cold yeah and on the way home it was like 75 degrees down there and by the time I got home it was like 32 and thank God I took all my riding gear but uh, yeah so that's probably what's gonna be this year I'm gonna be double sleeping back and I'm just trying to I don't know I'm still working it in my brain that I can get everything loaded on this or I'm gonna figure something out so I can get my bag loaded on the Riker and maybe take it this this next trip maybe I'll do a camping on my Riker video or maybe I'll just take my traverse and sleep in the back of it you know, we're gonna have to get gas you know the only thing I do not like about this this uh, Nightster well, there are actually two things. The, the fact that I get the key out every time I want to put gas in it. And, I mean, it don't even really bother me that much that the, the tank's underneath the seat. Uh, but I think the part that irritates me is every time I get it out, I got to put gas in it. <laughs> because I tend to get this thing out and uh, I'll run a tank through it. Just messing around, which... I shouldn't say a tank because I usually run it 100 miles and I'll put anywhere from 1.6 to 1.8 gallon back in it. It'll show red. I mean, it, it's given me about a gallon of reserve, which is good. But I mean, I'm getting decent mileage with it. I'm happy about that. It's better than the pan in America was. And I, it's definitely better than the the uh, Milwaukee's eight were. Um, but yeah, it just seems like this thing had one more gallon. If it was 4.1 gallon, I think it'd be about perfect. Alrighty, I've had enough of this. This boring. I got my brake reservoir filled back up. Well, close to it. Probably get a little more in it. Yep, we're gonna get wet. I need to get some, uh, uh some of that waterproof spray and spray this thing down again. 
It's supposed to be water resistant, but it's not watertight. Um, water resistant, I don't know. But I've been using it for a rink, and you can see the water is still kind of beading on it. I've had it, what, three, well, pretty, pretty much three years now. Um, I've got the thermal liner out of it because I'm, I'm telling you guys uh, this this uh, alpha gear is warm but it's pretty breathable when you got the liner out of it but I, I'm going to say uh, well the river is down looking good I am going to say that uh, I think this Alpha gear is warmer than my leather stuff is. And it, it stops the wind every bit as good. Yep, the river's down good now. That's what I like to see. I'm going to pull over here and shut this thing off. That check engine light's just bugging the shit out of me. Hopefully it goes away. I love it down at the river though. All right. Uh oh. And one thing, one thing I've noticed about these new Harleys is if if you can let this cycle do its thing before you start it, it all, yeah, see, it's off. Otherwise, sometimes you'll get that little triangle, and then the mode light, and then the mode light goes mode or whatever the hell it does. It's only done it a couple times, but the only time it ever does it is when I, like, turn on the switch and hit the start button and don't let that get through its thing. It's kind of annoying that you gotta wait for its thing. But if you're like me and you don't like seeing lights come on. to the south, but there sure is a lot of people going south. Wonder what they're doing down there. I don't know. Alright, I think I'll save some film and uh, if I see anything interesting, I'll turn you back on. going to be about it for today uh, thanks for tuning in and again like subscribe 